I'm Danny Epperson at the famed Commodore Dinner Theater in downtown Portsmouth. Thanks for joining me for WHRO Cinema 15. It's Bogey and Bacall and the film noir thriller, The Big Sleep. Here's some advice from Raymond Chandler about writing crime fiction. When you are in doubt about what to do next, you open up a door on a man with a gun in his hand. Director Howard Hawks took that advice when he brought Chandler's first novel, The Big Sleep, to the silver screen. This film noir classic has plenty of tough guys with guns, smart, stylish women, and clipped, clever dialogue. Well, I like you. I told you that before. I like hearing you say it. Mm. The Big Sleep stars Humphrey Bogart as private detective Philip Marlowe, who takes on a complicated case to help a young reckless society girl escape a tough situation. Lauren Bacall plays Vivian Rutledge, the girl's sophisticated older sister, who seems to have an agenda of her own. The case becomes a tangled web of blackmail, murder, and organized crime, but the film never gets too dark for its own good. Bogart and Bacall are electric together on screen. The Big Sleep is funny and romantic, and the dialogue is wickedly clever. Well, so long, copper. Wish me luck. I got a raw deal. Yeah, your kind always does. That's no surprise, since one of the film's three screenwriters was novelist and Nobel Prize winner William Faulkner, who began writing scripts for Hollywood in 1932. Faulkner and director Howard Hawks worked together often and became friends who bonded over their mutual love of drinking and hunting. This film's journey from script to screen took a bit of a detour. The end of World War II forced Warner Brothers to quickly finish and distribute their unreleased war films. The Big Sleep was finished in January 1945, but its premiere was delayed until August 1946. That delay turned out to be a bit of good luck and enabled the reshooting of a few scenes. Those reshoots gave The Big Sleep one of the most talked about backstories in cinema history. I'll be back after the movie to share that story and more. But for now, hit the lights. Get ready for The Big Sleep. No nodding off in The Big Sleep. A thriller to the end. And no bigger Hollywood couple in the 1940s than Bogey and Bacall. They met while working on Howard Hawks' 1944 film, To Have and Have Not. You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? You just put your lips together and blow. They were an unlikely couple who didn't expect to fall for each other. Her first thought when she was told that she would be working with Bogart was, quote, yuck. She was a 19-year-old appearing in her first movie, and he was a 45-year-old superstar with more than 50 films behind him. She had never been in love before, and he was dealing with a troubled third marriage. Romantic sparks flew during their first film, but while making the big sleep, their affection for one another became an all-consuming affair. One month after production was complete, Bogart filed for divorce. Two months after that, Lauren Bacall became his fourth and final wife. A delayed release of The Big Sleep enables studio executives to propose the reshooting of a few scenes with suggestive dialogue to exploit the relationship between the two stars. One of those additions became one of the most memorable sequences in the movie. When Marlo and Vivian meet in a nightclub, their conversation is full of what Roger Ebert called one of the most daring examples of double entendre in any movie at that time. Speaking of horses, I like to play them myself, but I like to see them work out a little first. You've got a touch of class, but uh, I don't know how, how far you can go. A lot depends on who's in the saddle. The decision to capitalize on the chemistry between Bogey and Bacall paid off for everyone. The Big Sleep was released in August of 1946 and is considered one of the greatest noir films ever made. And the marriage between Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall is considered one of the greatest Hollywood romances of all time. The two remained husband and wife until Bogey passed away in 1957. Lauren Bacall died at age 89 in 2014. She once said about her 12-year marriage to Bogart, 
No one has ever written a romance better than we lived it. I'm Danny Epperson, and I'll see you next week for WHRO Cinema 15 and another classic movie.